it was, but I am in the States. I do know that. And today, oh, no. we're bringing you the Hellfire. All hail the fire of the Hellfire. I don't know. What do we have here, though? This, my friends and family, is a very, very, very choice, very cool Diamond Guitars Hellfire. This particular one is when they were going through a slight change. When they were originally DBZ, then they were DBZ Diamond, the hyphenate. Beware of the hyphenate. Seems like you're not really committing, right? Um, and then afterwards, Diamond Guitars. Ta-da! There you go. Beware the hyphenate. I guess that's the, the lesson here in the story. So, this is actually labeled as uh, DBZ Diamond. This has Seymour Duck and Pickup. So this is their Hailfire SM. SM stands for Spalted Maple Goodness. And it's really pretty. It's a string through body. It's a set neck. It is not a neck through. But it has a very super, 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 super comfy carve here. So you can get up and do all the little naughty things you want to do high up here in the neck. And you can see it's actually a black bound neck. I'm not sure if you can actually make that out in the photos here. But um, the neck has black binding. Very nice mahogany all the way up. It is a five piece neck, give or take. Or at least it's a three piece neck through here. And then it adds two more little tiny ears as it gets towards the end. Kind of like how Gibson does, except this is a three piece neck all the way through here, no volume. And then little tiny ears get added to the edge to bring it that. These are actually made, I believe, in at World Music Instruments in Korea. Um, came, this is a couple years old, bought it used, got a really good deal, thanks to the awesome dude who sold it to me. Shipped great, came with a case, awesome. You can find a link down below, and you'll find, uh, you get this from Toman, actually a pretty good deal. Cheaper in, in Europe than you can in the States. So if you're interested in one, take a look there, bunch of cool finishes. What's neat about the SM versus the lower level model, which is still not crappy, one of the guys on a guitar form, once again a shout out, got a silver burst one with the stock pickups and he was thrilled with the pickups, actually rather surprised, uh, which is good. This one has Seymour Duncan, allegedly it's a jazz neck, Jeff Beck bridge, or it's a whole lot of humbucker, Jeff Beck bridge. We don't really know, why don't we know? Because they changed at some point during the breakup where mom and dad still love each other but now they're just called Diamond. Hmm. So there's that. But two real deal Seymour Duck and Humbuckers. Single coil tap. They're both coil tappable. It's just there's one knob to pop to tap both of them, which gives you a lot of tonal possibilities. And if you're new to my channel or haven't watched my other videos, I love this set of videos. Remind me not to try bending this very much today in this video, guys, if you can stick with me on that one. The guy I bought it from has like... So if you see me sweating my bends, it's not through my normal annoyance with bends. It's to the fact that they're just heavy mofos to, to twist. Um, but it makes it just a mean beast. She's just fun and punchy, and she's just got a, an angry life to her that I love. I'm, uh, gear playing out of a PB Bandit 112. Yes, the lowly 112. A um, little bit of reverb going on there, coming through a, a TC Electronic Poly 2, 2 Noir. MXR Custom 78 Baddest Distortion for stuff like this. Uh, EHX Soul Food for stuff like this. And a Joyo California sound. She, uh, 
she sustains. She's actually not that heavy either. She's probably six pounds. But she's gritty, she's mean, she gets angry, and I like that about her. But let's go through some basic little tone demos clean. So you get your, you know. round really nice articulate pickups and the louder you go the more you want to just push it around um, but let us not forget it can single coil guitar it reminds me honestly it reminds me a lot of a humbucker telecaster and i don't know if it's scale length or if it's uh, wood construction or whatever but it has that it's articulate it's not muddy and it's it's just it's fun <laughs> i and i mean come on there's no better way than pissing off your parents than a Gibson Firebird or RD inspired guitar from the lovely guys at Diamond, who also, you know, have the gestation of this came from the mad mind of Dean Z or Dean B. Zielinski, the guy who founded Dean and now does Dean B. Zielinski private stock. Um, like, there's a degree of, like, kiss my butt about this guitar, which I like. But it also has real tasteful woods and two tones, so like, this part through here is spalted. This part is just your normal mahogany stuff, um, but very tasteful without being overdone. And everything sits right, balances well. The flip switch is solid, really nicely made. I mean, honestly, this is no fool. Now these things are, you know, four or five hundred bucks. Um, actually, five or six hundred bucks new. Um, you can get them cheaper in Europe. I think actually, like, just under five hundred in Europe. Um, so. They're a, but they're super quality, and they're, I would say, I mean, the nicest Epiphones you're going to play, the nicest PRS SEs, stuff like that. This is the quality that I think this kind of brings to the table, and it doesn't surprise me because if it's coming out of World Musical Instruments, those guys just do great. They also make Chapman. They also make, um, I think, PRS SEs, so it explains a whole lot. The case is a nice form-fitted, really nice case. Um... Yeah, this guitar was just a fun little surprise. And, and a lot like the Dean Cadillac I had, I started playing this and I'm like, wow. Like, you forget that it's kind of funky looking, even though I do like that. And you're just like, this is a great little tool to, uh, to, to, to play, to have fun, to make music with. And I find it taking me places that perhaps, you know, lesser guitars or other guitars don't, don't take me. 
And even when it gets like angry, gritty stuff. You know, the coil taps actually make it, I really enjoy um, some of these tones. It's a fun guitar, but she cleans up nicely. Don't don't let the mullet scare you. thing check them out their quality is I mean honestly if you look closely with how she's put together the quality on this is just really top-notch in its price range and you'd be hard-pressed to find something as pretty or as well put together for this in the under thousand dollar range um, they make a, a varied range of guitars super sweet I'll put a link down below to this um, and to some of the other guitars in the collection from diamond guitars I think it's Jeff Diamante, Jeff Diamante. Also does diamond amplification, makes some really cool amps. Check out their stuff. Um, you know, I've got no skin in the game on their side, just I'm really impressed with the quality of this guitar. And with that, folks, I've been Nick in the States. Yes, my dearies, I do have issues, and it has been a pleasure sharing them with you. Take care.